In this video, I'll show you how we can create concept diagrams for architects inside SketchUp and Rayon combined. So right here, I have opened our SketchUp window. I have drawn some basic 3D model shapes just to show you the whole process and how you can create concept diagrams combining two very useful software. So after you have done your 3D modeling of your shapes, you can go here at the extension warehouse and inside the extension warehouse, you're going to type in Rayon and then we should have a plugin, something like this, ready for us to install. And once that is done, you will see the Rayon icon right here. You can just put it on the toolbar and I'm going to click Rayon. And now we're just going to log in from our browser. There's going to be a token that shows up right from our browser after we have logged into Rayon. We're going to copy it and then we'll paste it right here. I'm going to sign in. And now the Rayon account that I have on my browser is going to be synced in with a plugin inside SketchUp. And right after that, what we can do is I'm going to click export. I want to select the Rayon scene right here and then we'll just click export. And in just a second, you will be able to click open. And I'll show you exactly how this will look like. Okay, so now we have our exact shapes as we had them in SketchUp ready for us to use and modify. And now in order to create the concept diagram, we're going to use something from the Rayon template for concept diagrams as well. So while this loads up, once that is done, we're basically going to copy all of this and then we can paste it right onto this page. And now based on this, we can also create a diagram. So first of all, as you can see, we can easily paint any of the sides uh, in order for it to look more 3D. We can give it a darker tint on one of the sides. So in this instance, I'm going to use the bucket tool and the bucket tool. I will go ahead and color pick this, make it just a bit darker, and then we're going to apply it the same color on all of the sides that are towards us like this, right? So this should be consistent in the sense that there should be some sort of side where the shadow is a bit more visible or like the actual colors are a bit darker. I'm going to show you exactly how in just a second. In fact, this last one might be a an exception because that we might use that as the final result as we basically paint overall all over this and then we can just click done for now and then basically everything on this side should be this completely white color so i'm going to go ahead and use the bucket tool once again i will use the color picker for this one uh, and then we'll just paste it on all of these sides and then i'll make the final one for the flat surface even darker so this should be the flat surface here for us okay so now these have some sort of sense on how every surface is painted. Obviously, we could have done this maybe even Photoshop. However, what I will do now is that I will use the bucket tool once again. But for this one, I will choose I will use another color. So I think we'll go for uh, some sort of orange one like we have in the sample. So let's just choose this lighter one for the top surfaces or the flat ones. Then we'll go for a darker one for the ones that are aligned over on this side. And then let's just choose something even darker. So now we can add an arrow between all of these. We can obviously add even the triangle right there. Let's do this 0.5 to be bigger, or we can just leave it five, something like this. And then we can make this some sort of orange as well. Um, just like this too. And then let's just copy it here as well and let's just move this downwards and then basically we can add this little hand icon here if you want just to add a little bit more of a personalization and we can also go ahead and draw a rectangle for the background so something like this and then let's just make this just a bit of a gray and then we can arrange this in the back of the layer and let's remove the stroke completely then we can also add some um, explanation via text we can use the text tool concept diagram we can click done and we can increase it in size to like 1.5 we can increase this in size for example we can make this 15 uh, let's make this bold and then for each one of them we can add some sort of sub headlines for example let's just copy this we can say i guess phase one and then make it a lot smaller like five right and then add for each one uh this same sub headline or maybe even a paragraph and then we can just add some sort of uh placeholder as of now this can be even smaller so let's do 2.5 
and it doesn't have to be bold, it can be regular. Uh, it can basically take a lot less space, even 2.5 seems a bit small. Let's just do three. And we can basically just uh, copy these across each face. And then let's just rename this. We can also change the width of this. And this is basically how we can do a concept diagram inside Rayon without having to use Photoshop or Illustrator and immediately exporting the SketchUp file onto a web-based tool like Rayon, which is super simple to use as you saw. It doesn't need a heavy downloaded software and you can try it today for absolutely free by clicking the first link below. And if you want to learn more, and if you want to see more of my videos about Rayon, go ahead and watch the video right here.